happy and energetic day dear children i welcome you all to the recap session okay so now we are in fourth chapter uh, pros already we saw about kalpana chawla now the next is the poem right the beauty so already we saw many things about beauty what is beauty and uh, you all described uh, what beauty is that audio also we played right now list some things or person you think of beautiful according to your view your perspective so perspectives differ from person to person so according to your perspective what is beauty who is beauty what are the things that are beautiful so all these you just take a look and think positive beauty is seen in the sunlight right the trees the bird see how beautiful the bird is moving and the chipping of the bird also so chipping sound early in the morning if you wake up and if you see the chipping of the bird and along with that if you see the sunrise really it will be excellent beautiful okay the trees the birds corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest so corn growing here refers to uh, at the time of harvest corn will be grown well this is small corn baby corn and corn will be a uh, big and it will be yellow in color uh, it will be dry fully that time people working or dancing for their harvest see how the corn is dancing and the people will dance for their harvest they will work for their harvest so this paragraph the content of this paragraph is beauty is in the eyes of the beholder it is the attitude of a person beauty is everywhere it can be seen in sunlight the trees the birds the growing crops people who dance to show their happiness when their crops are ready when their crops are ready uh, see nearly 3 to 6 months or 9 months or 1 year also they will work very hardly for that crop ultimately when they took the crop they will feel really very happy if you have a plant in your house waiting for 2 3 months then one small bud will come in that seeing that itself you will feel happy that small rose will bloom see how happy you are then fully the rose will bloom and you will pick it and you will keep in your hair or you will give to some other person you will feel so happy it is from my plant that happiness is equivalent to nothing right so you have to enjoy the beauty children right now beauty is heard in the night see the night sky when you sit in the terrace or when you just lie down for relaxing and if you watch up you can see the stars blinking moon slightly moving whenever you are seeing moon will be there you see this side left side moon will be there right side moon will be there center portion moon will be there so moon will be there wherever you are seeing or wherever you are moving also right so most of the poets will take moon as an example and they'll enjoy that beauty is heard in the night wind sighing rain falling so wind sighing is the storm of the wind rain falling or a singer chanting singer how beautifully uh, who is this baby 
a great singer. Yes, search and tell me. Anything in earnest. Earnest is serious and determined. Earnest is serious and determined. Especially too serious and unable to find your own actions am funny. That is, they are very serious. They are not at all happy or they will not enjoy their happiness. And uh, if you are not serious, then even in small, small actions, we will find uh, uh, funny uh, things and you will enjoy. Right? Suppose in our class, when a boy is drinking water, sometimes what happens? Water will be spitted. So for that you will make fun and you will laugh. So small small actions you will take it in a funny way and you all will laugh at it. And you will enjoy that moment. But earnest, very serious, they will be going on focusing their work alone. Too serious. They will not see any funny things in their action, in others' action, around them. Nothing. Okay. So the second paragraph meaning is beauty is a thing to be felt. It can be heard. Means one can listen to it. Like one can hear its sound when night falls, when the wind blows and creates a sound. When rain falls on the earth, when a singer sings, all these are, are the sound and it will be pleasant to your ears. Right? One can even feel it in sincere and honest conviction of a person. And the third paragraph is beauty is in yourself. See? This is one small quote about beauty. Beauty is being the best possible version of yourself on the inside and out. Good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves. So good deeds, happy thoughts that repeat themselves. Good thoughts, good speech, good deeds all should be there in, in our mind. Then only world will be very peaceful and one day alone uh, you are doing this and the next day if you are becoming bad then no use in that so that repeat themselves is you have to repeat it all the life itself all throughout the life good deeds happy thoughts right so good thoughts good speech good deeds that is what I can say. You have to think good. You have to speak good. You have to do good. In your dreams, in your work and even in your rest. See, at the time of resting, at the time of working, whatever it is, you have to be good. You have to think only good things. Okay, even in your dream, you have to be good. Right? But when you are dreaming, you are thinking about games. Right? So that should not happen. So be good always. So beauty is not always external or visible. Beauty is an abstract now. It is not always external or visible. It is internal. Okay? It is within and it can be abstract also, one's views, good acts, one's wishes, which one even imagines in dreams. One's views, views, ideas, good acts, acts, actions. One's wishes, wishes, desire, okay, which one even imagines in dream. Beauty can be one way of work or even the style of taking rest. See, one small story I'd like to say you is two woodcutters were there. One minute story. Okay, two woodcutters were there and uh, they both will go together for cutting wood. 
one woodcutter will take both of them will take rest at that time one woodcutter will sleep nicely at the time of taking rest because it is the break time so he will take rest sleep nicely and another one will sharp his axe okay at the time of rest he will sharp his axe and so that who will get more wood the person who is sharpening his axe can able to cut more wood than the person who is taking rest so style of taking rest means you have to plan for the next action that is what is taking rest check change and change the subject if you are feeling tired suppose if you are uh, revising maths now okay if you are revising maths and two exercises decimals two exercises you completed you felt very tired so you feel that you need break then you can go for a walk you can take breath then you can change the subject but you should not simply sit and watch tv right so that is what style of taking rest thus beauty is very vast it cannot be confined to one thing rather it is there in everything we just need eyes and the heart to see it so this is a poem written by e a shear she is a uh, author of the poem beauty e a shear so louis abetta chivi that is what e a shear or blue corn she was born on 1926 she is a native of american she is a writer she is a poet she is an educator who is an enrolled member of isleta isleta cubelo so this is a, a institution okay so this is what is a graveyard and this is how your beauty poem looks in your book so beauty two times you have to read then you frame all one more question which is possible in this lesson okay and one question should be included as who is the author of the poem for each and every poem or a lesson one one mark should be there compulsorily who is the author of the poem okay then the lines any one line you specify and uh, you uh, just ask this lines are from the poem dash for example corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest okay for their harvest these lines are from the poem dash so what is the poem name that has to be specified what is beauty beauty what is beauty try to describe what beauty is or list some of the things or persons you think are beautiful beauty is seen in the sunlight the trees the bird corn growing and people working or dancing for their harvest beauty is heard in the night when sighing rain falling or the singer enchanting anything in earnest beauty is in yourself good deeds happy thoughts that repeat themselves in your dreams in your work and even in your rest author is e a shear so now word wall corn is a chief cereal crop of wheat oats maize barley etc Harvest is the time of the year when crop is ready. Sighing is sound of a deep, loud breath or exhale taken in relief. Deeds or actions or acts repeat to change or to happen again and again. So good things should happen again and again in your dream, in your actions, in your thoughts. Right, everything. Chanting is singing, singing with happiness. now uh, these are the working with poem questions poem summary 
all these you just go through 